Okay guys, I told Joe I'd try to do him up a little video. I'll shoot up a little video, kind of go over some of the features on a Striker, or yeah, the Striker 955. This one's got four purple chicken lights off the bottom. Um, what we have here is your volume, your squelch. This just adjusts your receive. Receiver, makes it quiet. You got your volume, your on and off. Basically your on and off knob. Got your mic gain that turns on and off the radio, or your mic gain turns on and up, up and down your microphone. RF gain, this knocks back out your receive. That's what your RF gain does. VOL, DEL, this is your uh, echo board. Fine course, this is for your sideband on this particular radio. This is one of the differences on the 655. Um, 655 does not have this this is for sideband um, you got your variable power knob in the back your front knob right here this is your talk back I usually suggest starting out with your radios with the variable power all the way to the left and then slowly just turning it up a little bit 2 watt dead key all the way down all the way up 15 watt dead key all the way up you got your AM FM PA now, when you talk on CB, use AM, not FM. This is a lot of people's mistakes on all export radios. For some odd reason, they think we talk on FM and not AM. So anyways, plus you got your upper and lower sideband. This is the other difference between the 655 and the 655. This right here is your band selector switch. The 955 has a band selector switch. You can flip it to band 4. Band 4 is your CB radio. You then have all your bands and channels. As you see, this one's got 10 bands. So anyways, we're back to band four. You can flip it back to the middle or you can go to VFO. What VFO mode does is let you actually change the frequency itself. As you see, it's changing. That's channel 19. I'm going back. You have your dim control, where you can turn up and down the dimmer. Go all the way off, barely cracked open, all the way up. Over here, you can change the color. I got it on purple right now. Let's put it on blue. And you can tell at night, you dim it down pretty far. So anyways, that's the dimmer control. HIC. This is a filter. A lot of people like this. All it does is just, just, just adjust your receive. Noise blinker in A&L. Your Roger beep, if you want your Roger beeps. I actually got this one already pre, um, uh, I'm out of function on this. Haven't played with it in a minute. Anyways, I programmed this one here. It's got eight different Roger beeps instead of your factory four or five. So anyways, this one's already set up. It's got a bunch of them in there. And when you want to put it on Roger Beep, you just flip it over to Roger Beep, and then when you key up, and there it is. So anyways, turn that off. You got your Echo, ECH, TSQ, Squelch Control, whatever. Same thing, you push in on your uh, menu options, function button, it lets you run through all your options. Radio's also got a scan feature, and again, if you want to change the color, you just hit the button. So anyways, I'm getting back out of that. You know, I was going to take her up to meters, show Joe what he's working with here. I already sent him a couple of videos on some radio checks, so I did that personally. Run my gate about two o'clock. Take it up to the meters. Twenty watt scale. Eolo. Very easy. Audio. Audio. Got ninety to one hundred watts there. Sideband, same mode. Eolo. Audio. 90 to 100. So there she is. She's looking all pretty. 
Again, this is a Striker 955. And again, you'll see it's the exact same as a 655. The only difference is, is this radio, of course, has sideband and the other radio don't. So anyways, you guys out there have a wonderful day. I got to get back to work. I got a bunch of radios to get going. So you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Road starts back out.